Welcome to the Friendly Podcast Guide, sorting through podcasts so you don't have to. I'm Andy Smiley, and I want to help you discover the right podcast without having to listen to an entire episode. Now, let's talk podcasts. Hello, everyone. This week, we are talking about the Healthy Screen Habits podcast, and the host, Hillary Wilkinson, helps run the nonprofit organization called Healthy Screen Habits. Her passion for using technology in smart, healthy ways is contagious. It was really fun to talk to her and hear why she started the podcast and why she keeps making it. Before we dive into my conversation with her, here are some details about the show. The show description is, parenting is hard, technology can make it tricky. This podcast helps bring these areas together to help all families create healthy screen habits. The length of each episode is about 30 minutes, and this podcast is kid ear friendly. Some of the episodes do talk about harder topics like pornography or violence or other things that you might want to talk to your kids about first before they hear it on a podcast. This show is ongoing and new episodes are available on Wednesdays. Before we learn more about the vibe of the show, we are going to take a quick break to talk about Olive and June nail polish. I love having nail polish on, but I don't want to spend the time and money to get my nails done at a salon. That is where Olive and June comes in. I use their Manny system and my nail polish will stay on for a week with no chipping. Truly, that might be my favorite part because the perfectionist in me can't really handle it. Once there's a chip in my nail, I have to just take it all off and start over. So it's so nice that I don't have to worry about that for at least a week. It brings me so much joy every time I look at my nails and I want you to have that joy too. You can get 20% off a Manny or Petty system by using the affiliate link in the show notes. Now we get to hear from Hillary about how the pandemic was part of the reason for the start of her podcast and some of the coolest people she's been able to talk to because of her podcast. Also, just a quick warning that I had a slight cold when I was doing this interview with Hillary, so my voice sounds a little bit different, but I promise the interview was awesome and totally worth listening to my voice be a little bit scratchy. Hillary, thank you so much for being on the podcast. I'm so excited to talk about healthy screen habits. Thank you, Andy. I can't wait to do so. And I love this like little mini clip look that you are giving us at so many different podcasts. Well, thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Certainly. I'm Hillary Wilkinson. I'm the host of the Healthy Screen Habits podcast and a co-founder of Healthy Screen Habits, which is a nonprofit and based out of Southern California, which is where I live with my family and our assortment of animals. (laughs) And my background is in elementary education and motivational theory. And there are others involved in Healthy Screen Habits as well. That's fabulous. That's, that's interesting that you have a podcast and a nonprofit. That's an interesting way to use a podcast. Yeah. The healthy screen habits podcast is like a sister project of healthy screen habits. So we kind of work together in doing that. Definitely. And tell me which one came first. Oh, the nonprofit most definitely. So we, yes, we founded in 2018. We, um, We're a registered nonprofit organization, and our mission is to educate and empower families to choose their healthiest, uh, their own healthiest screen habits. And prior to the pandemic, I did mostly in-person presentations to schools, parent education groups, teachers, et cetera. And then when the world closed, all those presentations kind of, you know, fell off the map and everybody, as you know, in your house, everybody went online and healthy screen habits became more relevant than ever. And so the podcast was kind of my pandemic pivot and our attempt to help like bring some health and balance to families who are looking for that. Definitely. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people were grateful for your podcast when you started it. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what do you want people to get out of your podcast? I feel like we've touched on it a little bit, but do you want to dive in a little bit more? Sure. Absolutely. So kind of, yeah, the big takeaways that I hope that, you know, my kind of personal goal, whenever we, whenever you listen to it is like the messages of health, you know, empowerment and 
in hugely hope because I think so many people have this loss of hope surrounding technology in their household. It's so easy to get overwhelmed. It's by this amazing part of our lives called technology, but we somehow we kind of forget also that we have control over our devices and we get to decide the role that technology plays in our families and in our lives. And the fantastic part of it all is it's really easier than you think, um, than I think even sometimes. <laughs> you can We can enact small changes, use tiny habits, and ultimately use technology to connect and build shared experiences with your family. Definitely. So uh, most of my listeners are moms. Would you consider um, your podcast to be kid ear friendly? Yes. Okay. So I, I, sometimes, <laughs> and, sure. so, and that's because the reason, the reason why I stumble over that is because we do, there's kind of what I call the big three of, of, um, techno of healthy screen habits and it's video gaming, social media, and pornography. So we do cover a lot of you know, episodes dealing with pornography. So it's, um, it's those episodes that discuss a more mature content. I often give a heads up so moms can put their earbuds in or they can listen to it at a later date. Definitely. Okay. Perfect. Well, that makes sense. I feel like when you're ready to have that conversation, maybe you don't put the headphones in, but if you're not ready yet, just plug right in. Right. Um, can you tell me, do you have a favorite episode? from your podcast or a couple? Cause I know it's hard to choose. <laughs> it is. It is. That's like trying to choose like a favorite flavor of ice cream for me. <laughs> it's like, I love them all. <laughs> I think rather than like a favorite episode, um, I kind of think of like, what was the most impactful episodes that I've done? And I think one would definitely be uh, the interview I did with Tiffany Schlein on the power of unplugging one day a week. She practices a tech Shabbat with her family. And it's a, I've had a lot of feedback surrounding that and people who have enacted that. And it's really changed a lot of family dynamics for them. And I also, one that was super powerful for me with my background in education is I had the honor of interviewing Temple Grandin on the importance of getting all kids outside to, you know, as well as balance their screen habits. So I got to ask her specific questions about technology and autism. And I think some of our, like the really most important episodes are around pornography and online trafficking. And I had an amazing conversation with Gail Dines, who's the founder of Culture Reframed. And she is honestly the I would consider her to be the leading anti-porn scholar and activist in the world. And she's amazing. But I would also get in a lot of trouble if I don't mention the episode that I did with my dad, <laughs> <laughs> who's a retired, he's a retired exotic animal veterinarian. And he and I had a lot of fun kind of like exploring parallel behaviors with wildlife and humans and how um, neurotransmitters that we share, like neurotransmitters of cortisol and dopamine, ha um, uh, like the parallel behaviors. And so it's, it's a fun listen. My dad has great stories, you know, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. And, <laughs> and honestly, cortisol and dopamine are the two key neurotransmitters considered in game and app design. So it's, it's interesting to see. That would be very interesting. That's fabulous. I will make sure to put all of those link, all of those in the show notes so that people can Thank jump you. straight to them. Yeah. And can you tell me where can people find you? Oh, most platforms, most podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, any of that, or they can stream directly from our website at healthyscreenhabits.org. Okay, fabulous. And do you do you guys do social media? Yes, yes. We are on Instagram and Facebook at Healthy Screen Habits. Everything is all the same name, Healthy Screen Habits, all across the board. That makes things very easy. That's fabulous. <laughs> Certainly. 
Um, one thing I'd like to add, yes, please, <laughs> is that is the timing of the podcast. You said you mentioned your mom, your audience is primarily moms, and it was important to me to make it very accessible to moms by keeping it just. 30 minutes. So all of my episodes are only 30 minutes. You get unlimited access to experts and there's a healthy screen habit in each episode, which is a tip or takeaway that you can apply in your own home. Yes. Holy cow. I loved, I listened to the episode about tantrums and technology, and I definitely use the tip at the end of that episode every day when I'm on social media, I'm very grateful for it. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah. It was about um, connecting on social media and trying to not just scroll, but comment or like. And it definitely has changed the way that I consume my social media. So thank you so much. I have already put into practice something from your podcast. I love it. And I love the healthy screen habits tend to be just like that. There's something, like I said, they're very small bite-sized tweaks that we can do to help let our relationship with technology be its healthiest place, be at its healthiest place. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for being here. And I am excited to introduce you to all my listeners. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want to hear about more podcasts, please follow or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. Just a reminder, if you want to step up your nail polish game without going to the salon, you can use my Olive and June affiliate link in the show notes to get 20% off a Manny or Petty system. Talk to you soon. Healthy Screen Habits, the podcast. Oh my gosh. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone.